you know what? I don't think I've opened an advent calendar in a while. Hey there Potter Puffs, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another advent calendar unboxing. I'm not getting bored of doing this. This year has just been amazing for opening things and even though these videos take me a while to edit, I do enjoy this very much. As you can see today, we're going to get straight on with unboxing the Cine Replicas Harry Potter 12 Days of Christmas. Now this calendar is sold on various sites but Cine Replicas are the creators of it and it doesn't even really have a theme. It's genuinely just Harry Potter goodness in a calendar. They do tell you every product that's in it. But I've chosen to not look too hard. I have an idea totally just going to get straight on with unboxing this. You may have noticed that recently my channel has been filled with festivities. Those festivities are continuing so even though Christmas in October is coming to an end slash has ended, Christmas goodness has not ended. We've still got November and December. Some videos won't be themed on Christmas but the majority will be and I have another themed month planned for December which you're going to love. It's something you guys have been asking for for a while and because I'm so organised now with my videos I've been able to do it for you. I am so so excited. Anyway Christmas is just here to stay on my channel until January. If you haven't seen all of my previous unboxings there's a whole playlist which is devoted to advent calendars and Christmas goodness and if you are new around here don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notifications bell so that you don't miss any of my future content. Cine Replicas did send me this calendar for free but the opinions as always are my own and this one retails for $39.95. Now it's interesting because I've done quite a few unboxings now I'm getting to kind of be able to critique them a bit more because I've seen what other companies have done. This one is on the lower end of the budget, I would say. It's still extremely expensive for an advent calendar compared to your standard Cadbury's. But we're going to see what value for money we're getting. We've done calendars ranging from now £10 up to £60. So this is kind of mid-range. On this side, I'm going to flick it over. You can see everything that's in the calendar. So if you are a person who wants to know what you're paying for, which is understandable, then you can have a look at this before you order. I do love the fact we have got the common Christmas colours. So the green and red traditional Hogwarts crest. On the back, it does actually give you an indication of the gift types. So we're going to be getting 24 gifts included. The gifts that we will be getting in this calendar are stationery, jewellery, small accessories, socks, yes, exclusive products and lots of wizarding surprises. So door one. Oh no, have we got this off to a bad start in the sense that things are already falling through? But nice product though. We have for door one, what a great way to put socks in an advent calendar. These are those things that you get, you put them in water and the socks grow. They're called magic socks. So you place them in water for a short while until sock has fully expanded, let air dry completely before wearing and then you've got a pair of socks. I don't even understand how this works, but that's exciting and a really nice product. It's a proper product that you could buy on their website. We're looking for door two. Some of these doors are very oddly shaped actually. This is so good. Oh, it's a tiny door, like literally tiny. It's got nothing in it. How many calendars have we had where things have fallen through? This is an issue with these types of calendars with extra different objects. Chocolates never fall through really, but these items do. Everything's so rattly. Okay, so door three. Again, a very small door. Is this meant to be in door three? Oh dear. It's coming out anyway, but it's very nice. So we have a wristband. I'm a big fan of little wristbands like this. I love the fact it's Marauder's Map themed and it says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. It's very wearable. Anyone could wear it, boy, girl, so it's unisex. And it's got the Cine Replicas logo. I'm not even sure if that was meant to be in door three because I found something else in door three. So any doors without a gift, I've taken out a gift and we'll put it into that door. 
circle falls right at the top. What is this? Oh, is it temporary tattoo? I do actually love temporary tattoos. Like when you're a child, they are so fun and you go especially to fates and things so that you can get them. This one is a Gryffindor design, so hopefully we'll get all the houses. It's quite a cheap product, I'd say, to put in the calendar, but it is something that's quite a lot of fun. So as long as they have spaced that out with other gifts that are bigger, like the socks, then that's fine, makes up the value. So this one is just your standard Gryffindor lion. It says courage, bravery, determination. And it's actually quite a um, new style house crest in my eyes. Ooh, five. Okay, down the bottom. We've got a few things in this store now. Right, let's push this one up. Don't think that's meant to be in here. What is this? Oh, little fabric patch. That's cute. I love fabric patches. I mean, I haven't actually, I don't think used a fabric patch properly yet on like an item of clothing, but I feel I want to do that. I just have to be so sure when I get things like this, where I'm going to put them. So I've got a few, but I've not actually got a Hogwarts crest. It looks weird from the back. It's all colourful. It's probably... I don't know, the quality's okay. It's not super stitched, but it looks really nice and definitely would look amazing on like a denim jacket. I love the fact so far though, that we're getting so many different types of products. We've only opened five doors or four doors and we've already had temporary tattoo, socks, bracelet and a batch. I mean, that's quite good. Where's door six? Can any of you guys see it? Aha, uh -huh. this looks like a normal chocolate door. That's the size and shape of it. No, this is already my favourite product. I'm really excited about this. Just shows what a child I am. <laughs> Look at this. This is like something you would get when you're younger, a bit like the socks, and you'd just be like, amazing, I'm going to start stamping everything. It's a stamper with ink, and it's just perfect for anyone like me who likes to craft, write letters, do journals, because they're so easy to use, add a pot attached to so many different things, and basically I'm just living for it. John keeps telling me off for saying that, living for it, constantly saying it in videos. If that annoys anyone, I'm sure it does. Sorry about that. It's literally like one of those phrases I cannot stop saying. It looks quite basic, but it is like your Hogwarts letter. It's black, so you could stamp it anywhere. And it will be perfect for a couple of videos that I've got coming up. You're gonna love them. Door seven's another tiny little door. What's in here? like a mini book. Ooh. Oh, that is so cute. It's a mini Christmas Harry Potter magnet. And all it's got on it, it's black. It's different to a lot of Harry Potter Christmas products I've seen. It says, all I want for Christmas, it's got the Nimbus 2000, the Golden Snitch, Chocolate Frog, a Quidditch jumper, some little socks. It's like, what kind of Harry Potter Christmas presents would you like? And it's so small and adorable. I'm just gonna put that straight on my fridge. Where are you, Dory? Oh, I sang a door again. That's happened pretty much every Christmas video. What's going on here? We have like three products in this door. And it's a pin. This is a Ravenclaw pin. Hopefully it's of an eagle, although to me it looks like a raven. And the design is potentially a little bit questionable. I'm not sure that I am loving the kind of bird design here. It looks a tiny bit odd. The head looks a bit too big for the body. I do really appreciate the fact that it's just kind of a subtle Ravenclaw badge. It would look good on just your jacket or something and you wouldn't really know it's Harry Potter. Number nine is on the way. Oh, this is interesting. This has intrigued me quite a lot. I love the design of it. Is it just the button badge? If so, I really like it. it. Actually is, but it's a button badge that I've never seen before and I love the colour scheme. This one has a Hogwarts snow globe in the middle, a little headwig, floating candles, a broomstick and a Hogwarts letter on a purple background. 
it's just beautiful. I think I love the snow globe. I think that's like not my favourite thing about this button bag. Oops, just dropped it. We're up to door 10. Not even halfway yet. This is what I was waiting for. It's a little story time about this product that's coming out. It's inspired a video that I'm making for December. I saw it on the back and I was like, I just need that out right now. I was just so excited for the day that I finally got to unbox this so that I could get this product out. Imagine if it wasn't what I thought it was, that would be so disappointing, but it is. It's Harry Potter washi tape. Now, since I have seen this on the back of the Cine Replicas box, I do now know that Hobbycraft also are now selling washi tape that's Harry Potter themed. Get quite a lot on the roll, this should last me a while, and it features, again, socks, chocolate frog, golden snitch, jumpers, wands, and broomsticks. And it says, all I want for Christmas, so it matches the magnet nicely. Door 11's far away, right at the top. Ooh, is it a necklace? Okay, not impressed by this. What's happening here? I have got a cord of a necklace, which is quite funny because I actually needed a cord like this for a necklace that broke recently. But at the same side of things, this should have a pendant on it. Let me check the box and see what's meant to be on this. So there is meant to be a pendant. Maybe that comes at the end because that's what it looks like from the calendar. So maybe for now we've just got the cord, which would be quite a disappointing door if you were to be opening this day by day. Hmm, okay, we'll move on. Where are you, number 12? Where's number 12? Oh, I just, okay. What's meant to be in this door? Oh, so we've got two tattoos in this door. That's cool, because maybe one tattoo is a little bit stingy for one door, maybe. So we have got a Hufflepuff tattoo and a Slytherin tattoo. The colours are different on these. They're definitely not like temporary tattoos I've seen in the past. So they're different for the advent calendar. And yeah, I'm happy to receive these. I might actually put on the Hufflepuff one for the weekend, because I can't exactly wear these to work. So that's quite cool. I'm enjoying the two designs. Slytherin's colour scheme is pink and green though. What's going on there? Not too sure about that. Hufflepuff's is your yellow and brown, so that's quite an earthy tone. I feel that Hufflepuff's actually done the best out of these because it's the nicest tattoo. It's time for a big door, door 13. I have an idea what's in this one. Oh, I think it's fallen through. and this has fallen out somewhere else. How confusing is this calendar? These are cute. So we have some Harry Potter sticky notes and these are the chibi characters, which are controversial because a lot of people are getting bored of them now, but these are a nice use for them. We have Harry, Ron and Hermione on their brooms. Harry's wearing kind of a Gryffindor inspired, well, he's not wearing it. He's on a Gryffindor inspired sticky note. Hermione's on a blue Ravenclaw one and Ron's just got a ginger one, I guess, for orange. Where are you, door 14? Here you are. Oh, we've got another empty door. This is getting frustrating. Okay, so this wasn't there before, so I'm going to pretend that this was meant to be in the door. It's getting to the point where I'm making it up now. So we have a Slytherin pin. Now, like the Ravenclaw one, I am not a massive fan of these. I don't know why exactly. I like the metal look, but I don't like the kind of shapes of them. If I'm being honest, I'm always honest with you guys. So I probably wouldn't wear these. The snake's got a big gap in its mouth. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not for me, this one. But for pin collectors, I'm sure you would really enjoy it. And you know, I, I don't really have much more to say about this pin, to be honest. I don't know why I seem to have a little vendetta against it. It's just not my thing. Door 15 is extremely long and thin. Is it a pencil? Yeah. These are literally the smallest pencils I've ever seen and they're Hogwarts Crest ones. How cute. 
not practical at all for writing, but really cute and I definitely love them. So this purple one has like cartoon versions of the um, Hogwarts house mascots. And the other is a more classic Moon and Stars Hogwarts Crest design. Another big door for door 16. Ooh, it's a sharpener. I actually always need sharpeners. They're one of those things, a bit like socks, where you only end up with one, or maybe the teaspoons in your kitchen. You think you have lots, and you probably do, but you can never find one when you need it. This is a really nice little sharpener, actually. But we all love a sharpener that catches the shavings, because who can be bothered to stand over a bin when they're sharpening a pencil? So it says the Bank of Gringotts. It's got the thing where it covers up the ends so all the sharpenings don't come out. That makes me happy. And then it's just your standard kind of sharpener inside. Am I holding up much hope that door 17 will have something in it? It does. No, this is just not right. <laughs> These pins are just not right. So this is the Hufflepuff Badger very questionable look the most questionable out of the three um it does not look like a badger to me no i'm looking at it and i'm trying to make it look like a badger in my mind it's the right kind of s shape for the hufflepuff badger it's just not right <laughs> it's actually cracking me up to look like this city replicas have done a really good job with this calendar as i keep saying but these pins are something they should have just left out. Door 18 is right at the top. Oh, is it another little crest? Oh, it's a Quidditch patch. So this is a Gryffindor style iron on patch. It's Quidditch related. It's got the Hogwarts crest, golden snitch at the top and a red crimson border. It's a nice design, would look good on many pieces of clothing. You can be creative with it because iron-on patches literally can go on bags, like tops. Could be one of the last pins. And it is, what's it gonna look like? No, this one is also wrong. It is the Gryffindor Lion. It's not as bad as the Hufflepuff one but I'm still not a fan of it. It's gold, so we've got two gold, two silver. Who knows, maybe you guys really like these, but am I being weird about this or is this kind of a weird product? It's just, they would have been better off not cutting it out so intricately for this and just doing another style pin in my eyes. So this lion, it does look angry. It looks a bit malnourished um, and it's got quite weird looking legs. Door number 21, we've only got a few left now. And I've already got two things that fell out the calendar earlier, so we're probably going to have some loose doors now. Oh, okay. So we've got, oh, that's nice, an Expecto Patronum wristband. We associate Expecto Patronum and Patronuses to generally giving us kind of positivity and light in our lives. So I think having a little band like this, it's quite a nice reminder of that day to day. So this band is gold, it's got white writing, so it stands out a lot. And I think out of the two, even though I like both of them, this is the one that I would wear the most. All the way around, it says Expecto Patronum, it's got the deer, and then it's got a little City Replicas logo. Door 22 is right at the bottom, that escaped me. What have we got in here? So this is a Deathly Hallows keyring. It's a simple design. A lot of the advent calendars this year have been giving out Deathly Hallows products, which I think a lot of people appreciate. It's nice silver. It would look amazing on your bag. And key rings in general are quite a safe bet for things like this because a lot of people use them. Not only that, but in the door where it's supposed to be, it matches our other one. And I'm gonna put that straight on my fridge. That is super cute and adorable for the Christmas period. And a lot of people don't have Christmas magnets, so that's so nice. Door 23, second to last. And we are, where are we? Hmm, ah, over here. I love this, this is great. It's a chocolate frog product, which is one of my favorites. What is it? Is it a rubber? I won't be using this because it's one of those rubbers that 
is like, I'm going to call it a costume rubber, which basically means you buy it often, these kind of things. Like, this is the most amazing product ever. It's a rubber and it's a chocolate frog, but you'll never end up using that rubber because A, it will get rid of the print on the front and B, often these rubbers don't actually rub out that well. But nevertheless, we still buy them because they are so fun. And I literally have quite a few of these costume rubbers at home. And wait, all my American guys are gonna be like, stop calling it rubbers, erasers. I have quite a few costume erasers I wouldn't dream of using, but I, they look good. And this one's gonna go on my shelf because it's chocolate frog related. Genuinely imagining it on my purple shelf right at the bottom right now, because it, it just is gonna look great. I need to stop gushing about this rubber. Nice product. And we got pencils, rubber, sharpness, and some nice craft products. So we've got the last door and I've still got two things that fell out earlier. So I'll get those out in a minute. Last door. Ooh, I like how they've given us something big in the last day. And I'm really excited to see what type of product this is. Oh, looks like a tablecloth, but I know what it is. It's a bandana. Now that's cool. And I'm kind of hoping that I can wear it like the bandana I've got on my head because that would be really nice. An actual Harry Potter bandana. If I roll this up, it will probably work. I'm gonna have to test this later. I'm quite excited though. That's really nice. I don't wear bandanas in the traditional sense, but you could use this for photos. You could even hang it up. It looks a bit like a hanky, but I know it's not. And yeah, ban oh, I do like it. It's a really nice last product. I love the fact that they have kind of labeled our little mascots as well and put the house names. Nice little touch, the color scheme's nice. And to me, if you got that on Christmas Eve, that would be a nice ending to the calendar. So the last couple of products, which were out of random doors, I'll show you quickly now. So we have a Ravenclaw temporary tattoo, which I believe should have been with the first tattoo we opened. So that finishes off our temporary tattoo collection. We also have, which is really nice, some little phone stickers. Now I've got a full set of these and I've actually got a lot on my phone. They last really well. And these are cute chibi characters. So I think a lot of people will appreciate them and probably decorate their phone with them because they're quite small, so easy to place. You could put them on any electrical product or even just on stationery. And we get Dobby, Hedwig, Harry, Hermione and Ron. So what do I think of this calendar? I think this one was a bit of a mixed bag, if I'm honest. So it was about £40. Did we get £40 worth? I feel that a lot of the products were probably lower end quality and value, but there were some really good standout products as well. My favourites being definitely the stampers because they're something I'll use a lot and they're a lot of fun. I actually really liked the button badge, the Expecto Patronum, a wristband, but the washi tape had to be the winner for me. The magnets were cute for the fridge and I loved the bandana. So there were a lot of good things, but if it's worth the money, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below. My least favorite products has to be those pins. I'm just not a fan. They don't look like the characters, so I'd be a bit disappointed to open those. But the calendar kind of redeems itself with the good items that I just showed you. Make sure you let me know what you think of this. Would you buy it in the comments? Are you excited for Advent? What calendar did you buy? I would love to know. And I'm going to see you very soon for another Christmassy video. Thanks for joining me, Potter Puffs. Bye.